good, good, good. Hi, welcome to our channel at We Are A Couple. If you're new here, welcome to our channel and please go ahead and subscribe, hit on your notification bell and comment and like this video. Welcome guys, so today is the much awaited delivery vlog video. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you're going to come with us to the delivery room with uh, all that taking place there. So are you ready for this? So it all started when Pastor Liz was uh, just feeling that she had to go for a checkup. And I was like, you're fine, you're fine. But she's like, no, we need to know uh, what's going on, if there's anything that's happening. So she called her uh, OB, uh, OBGYN, and the OBGYN said, uh, no, it's fine because she, uh, he asked all the symptoms but uh, she still insisted and said uh, no we have to go and check it out so why i really insisted was because we were past the due date a uh, few days uh, past the due date and i was getting heavy and heavier if you remember our last video I, I did say that i was constantly eating and at some point i was even admitted because of overeating <laughs> So, um, so I had no pain, no contractions, nothing, nothing, nothing. And a day would pass and the next day would pass and the next day would pass. And once we got a couple of days past due date and no contraction, nothing whatsoever, I was like, no, we have to go for a checkup. So we went for a checkup at the Nairobi West Hospital. And while we were there, uh, when the gynecologist checked me, she was like, oh, you're actually three centimeters dilated. I was like, wow, but there's zero pain. I had no pain. I had nothing, not even a period cramp. Nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. And so she was like, you're already dilated. Um, and so I was like, oh, we just came for a checkup. We, we weren't prepared for anything. Can we please go back home and prepare ourselves? She's like, no, I have to admit you immediately. I was like, no, please. I really need to go home, prepare my kids, prepare everything, you know, call the ones who are going to come and help us stay with our children as we're in the hospital. I mean, we were not organized at all. And so while, while we are there debating with the doctor, she finally, um, asked us to sign a waiver <laughs> so the hospital asked us to sign a waiver because they were re releasing us to go back home uh when we were already dilated when i was already dilated and so we did that and and we left and so our children <laughs> since we had taken time in the hospital we asked somebody to pick them up and drop them in church and so they're in the church so we went to church it was a wednesday so it was midweek service and so when the service started, I noticed that the, the worship team hadn't arrived. <laughs> so I was like, ah, I know I'm in labor, and I'm already dilated three centimeters, but you know, I gotta do this. So I got on the pulpit <laughs> and led worship. Uh, and to me, I was just doing it like, if this was my last time leading worship you know because you know when you're going into delivery room you don't know whether you'll come yes, back yes there's always that 50 50 percent yes, chance yes of something can happen uh, unfortunate incident so you never know i know yes and it's not like i was anticipating death or anything it's just that uh, like if this is the last time i get to be on the pulpit uh i want to be I was, I'm a worship leader, so and I want to bring forth this baby and birth it in worship, and so yeah. and then from there we went home 
and from what we dropped our children you know prepare them told them hey guys we're going the baby's coming uh by tomorrow you'll be seeing your baby and then so it's already evening at this time So we are rushing right now past the list to the hospital with Esther at the back. As the list is already, I think, four centimeters by now. Woohoo! So this is the day uh, that we have been waiting for, or the night. <laughs> uh, it actually was just by chance. We didn't uh, know it was going to be today. Yes. So we've left the kids. Uh, we said our goodbyes and uh, we've explained to them that they're getting a new sibling, especially Tandy. Although she's two years old, we tried our level best to explain to her the concept. So we've checked in into the hospital, check that out in our labor and hospital review video that we did. Uh, we checked we checked in um, into the VVIP room, the VIP room first, then the VVIP room, and then the doctor comes and checks. Uh, so right now we are thinking we're like five, six centimeters gone, but there's still zero pain. I'm not feeling anything. So I'm, I'm wondering how can I possibly be in labor? Or is this finally the labor that I desired? You know, the Hebrew woman labor because there's no pain, nothing, like nothing, <laughs> no slight, like nothing. I was like, hey, finally, I'm getting the Hebrew woman labor. <laughs> hey, I couldn't eat anything. This one has been my best because I love eating it. And the problem is that my stuff is still that good. Well. So uh, from the time we checked in, uh, or even from the afternoon, and that yeah. was like now 8.30 to 9 o'clock, she was still not progressing, so... And that has never happened to me. But maybe it happened in my previous, because I only go and I'm in pain, and this time I was never in pain, so 
I never know if maybe my other ones I dilated and because I only go to the hospital when I'm in pain like no more like you would and so this time I went to hospital when I was not in pain just for a checkup then I find out I'm dilated and then now I'm in hospital with no pain and I haven't moved I'm literally three centimeters dilated still hours later and so the doctor says um we have to induce you oh my goodness <laughs> uh, so the... I've never been induced of pain. yes she's never been induced and it's very painful process from what we were hearing uh of course you know that's not something you're told <laughs> right away but uh that's what's that no was nobody ever told me it was painful i've never heard that inducing is painful you know you just say ah oh, you're induced you're induced and i then, think i heard that it was painful you knew it was painful i think so yeah. my friend nobody explained to me the pain <laughs> in inducing Guys, if you're hearing me and your past due date, just stay in your house. Don't go. <laughs> no, there's a medical reason for inducing the baby. It is to make sure that you don't get uh, complications that okay. might even result in cesarean <laughs> section. So anyway, that was the advice of the doctor, which we uh, consented to because uh, at that time, the water had already broken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes. My water had broke and, uh, yeah. and so, I was still three. Yeah. So the inducing uh, or inducement started and I'm telling you then she started to get into labor. guys first of all how contractions work just in case yeah, you've never been pregnant or been around somebody's about to give birth our contractions come in stages of pain like zero to six centimeters dilation you have to reach 10 and to give birth to give birth to push you have to reach 10 and so here I am at three but usually between zero to six the pain is bearable you know and so you can contractions come and then they go they come and they go and all the way to the 10 but once you are induced I, I mean the pain of the 10 is the most <laughs> most painful so from 6 to 10 you're in horrible pain and so once you're induced the pain of 10 <laughs> is what you begin with here <laughs> so for me I began the pain of 10 at 3 centimeters my goodness it was painful oh, it goodness. was you know the most i don't know how to describe no somebody said uh not somebody science says <laughs> science from google says that um labor contractions can only be compared with 52 bones being broken at the same time in your body that's a lot of bones so that's a contraction and now being induced, I don't know how to explain that pain of being induced because all my babies, my all, the past three, I had never, never felt such pain like no. And so that's around nine o'clock. So the nurses come in now at around 1 a.m. <laughs> to check how far I've gone. And I'd gone only one <laughs> All that pain. All that pain. And I just dilated one more centimeter. Now let me tell you, in my past labor stories, you know, I get I get the pain, we go to the hospital by the time we get to the hospital, by the time it's finished paying the bill, I'm pushing. That's how fast. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. And so this fourth one, and people had told me by your fourth one, if you are fast the other ones, this one in two hours, the baby's out. And so that's what I was expecting. And then now out of nowhere, I'm dilating one centimeter. <laughs> In, in like three four hours <laughs> i had finished paying the bills and wow. everything <laughs> but still nothing yeah he goes for all those hours he goes he pays the bills and he comes back i'm still there in pain i have so much pain nothing and so they the nurse says i'll see you again in two hours time so she comes back at 3 a.m 3 a.m i'm still four centimeters dilated they say now if you do not progress, we have to go to the theater. For cesarean section. I was like, no. And I'm going through all that pain. The pain of 10 centimeters. The pain was intense. I was just holding on to you. I'm holding on to the steel bar. Like, and then I, I don't know why, why about uh, other ladies who are always in labor. They like to be rubbed their back. Me, you cannot touch me. <laughs> like, stay very far away from me like i want to see you but don't touch me you know so i'm just with my the steel bar like i need cold steel and you know, the pain it just squeezing it the pain was so much as you can see in the video so at 3 a.m i'm four centimeters dilated the, the nurse says uh if you don't dilate we're taking you to the theater and so now we decide to call up our intercessors and when I say intercessors I mean my mother and my sister and my auntie <laughs> so we call them up and I tell my mother I am in so much pain I've never been in this much pain I I don't know what kind of labor this is uh, I was induced and my labor is not progressing I'm going to go into the theater if it doesn't progress I need it to progress now right now and so the, she starts praying on the phone and the everybody and she's like let me call up the rest like we have to pray and so they start praying intensive prayer and pastor solomon starts engaging in prayer also you know me i'm there i'm just yes shush, 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 you know you're trying to ribashanda but nothing is coming up and actually in my other labors i would be very much speaking in tongues but this time the pain was too much even i didn't know what was going on and so they tell us, okay, why don't you walk up and down, walk up and down. So we start walking. She's like, okay, do squats, do squats. And so we are praying, we are praying, we are walking up and down, we're doing squats. comes at around 4 30 the nurse comes in to measure and I'm just in deep prayer and I I knew my mind was telling me it's a long shot from four centimeter but I just said uh, increase my faith you know so I asked God for eight to nine centimeters which was an impossibility because she hadn't moved at all in hours and you know to ask for to jump to eight to nine is like wow but that's exactly what I asked and you guess what after the nurse checked because if it was still not progressing they would have to call the doctor in fact they already called the doctor the doctor was woken up uh, in the middle of the night to come because of the situation and the doctor was on the way but if it didn't improve we would have gone to theater 
uh, and but after they checked it was eight to nine centimeters <laughs> exactly what you pray so they've already brought in the I don't know what to call this the warmer for the baby as you can see Pastor Liz is just almost there the Lord has been faithful uh, she's already eight to nine centimeters so we're expecting the baby anytime soon the problem is the baby already pooped inside the womb so that's not good that's even a possible CS cesarean section operation but of course we're praying against that we believe the Lord will still give us a normal delivery so while she was checking eight to nine she noticed that the baby had put had put inside so now this is a whole different problem once a baby has put you have to go to theater so again here we are praying again oh lord no we just want normal delivery please lord and so we start praying again meanwhile they call the doctor you have to come in and make the decision uh whether she's going into theater or she'll push because whether you're eight to nine nine to ten the baby has put we need to get you to theater so when the that was around now 4 30 so at five i was doing squats doing squats <laughs> still trying to get the baby out <laughs> so be, so by the time the doctor came in now it's 5 a.m i know that so clearly because uh nairobi west is is, is around the uh, mosque area so the 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 prayers were coming so it was 5 a.m and so i get on the bed <laughs> For the, for the doctor i was like oh my baby's coming i just get on the bed you know i'm still trying to get into position oh no 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 i'm like no the baby's coming you move down a little bit oh yeah i can't uh. okay. breathe. Oh. breathe in and out oh 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 good 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 oh 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 Okay, she's coming out, coming out. Push, push. Okay, push. breathe, breathe. Push, push. push. Go. Breathe, 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 breathe. Breathe. Nice. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Okay, here's oh. the baby. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. <laughs> yes, <laughs> that would be lovely. I've never cut the cord before. Oh, hi, baby. Oh, sorry. Do you have her? Do you have her? Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, she's choking on something. I hope it is not. You did so well, baby. Thank you so much, doctor. We're glad you came. <laughs> Rose, can you take over with the baby? She's here. You can't feel it. Thank you. Okay. And so this baby came so quickly. I just literally uh, pushed twice and she came. And she came. I wasn't even in position, you know. Uh, once the the baby uh, 
it, it's right there you, the urge to push is just and the doctor's like breathe 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 because she's still also preparing <laughs> like breathe I'm like no I'm pushing <laughs> and so I pushed it and she came and we were ah, it was such a relief yes and so we were so excited it was such a joy and uh, Pastor Liz was even dancing inside the ward <laughs> can you believe it just went in birth oh <laughs> still have the energy to dance and carry <laughs> Women are strong and powerful, eh? Getting the placenta out now, oh, getting yeah, the clots yeah. out. Oh no! So they have to get the clots out, and oh, this is becoming a very, what is it called? A very raw video. Okay, this thing doesn't end. It's over. It's oh! Ah! Ah! Oh! Oh! That's why she's a doctor. I don't want to. You see? This would have caused us a lot of bleeding and oh brought us back. Okay, yeah, that's why I wanted us to be sure before I, I leave you. <laughs> and we're done. You lie yeah. on your side. What's comfortable? Oh. Thank you so done. much, doctor. Yeah. Uh, Delivering this uh, baby. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You know, it's a delivery vlog. What do you expect? <laughs> but all of this is to bring forth a beautiful, inspiring life to this world. So yeah, we thank God. We give God all the glory. The delivery was safe. It was a safe delivery. And imagine, once we started praying from 3 a.m. to 5 a.m. in two hours, I moved from 4 to 10. And that was just God. That was truly the hand of God. And so we were so grateful and like, Thank you, Jesus. You know, thank you, Jesus, was all I could say for a long time. And our baby was there, and our baby was very calm, and is still very calm. <laughs> but yeah, she's just so calm. But we've been trying to shoot this video the whole day, though we've had a calm baby, but the other three are just a handful. <laughs> Handful of work, and now we're shooting it at night. Can you believe that, guys? The transition from three to four children, we will let you know. Thank you so much for watching this video again. Thanks to the staff at the Nairobi West Hospital for being so competent, friendly, and nice to us and getting everything we needed. And we thank you all, family, for being with us from this journey. From the very beginning, even when it started as a, you know, a joke that, oh, father of four, at the time we only had three. And then later on, we found out we were actually pregnant. We yeah. announced it. You've been there for us through the difficult pregnancy of hyperemesis gravidarium of Pastor Liz. You've been praying, you've been supporting, leaving encouragement in the comments and in the messages. So this has been a journey with all of you and now, we have reached the end and the reward is here with all of us. 
the newborn baby. Thank you so much and may God be with you even in your trials and journeys. God bless you. Thank you so much. Nairobi West Hospital again. Thank you so much. It is truly a wonderful place to be and the maternity charges are actually very, very friendly. And so please check out their maternity packages and beautiful place and wonderful place that our doctor, Dr. Sauda, shout out to Dr. Sauda. Thank you so much. You are so wonderful and so professional and everything about the delivery was just sent by God even the doctor you were sent by God so don't forget to subscribe turn on your notification bell and please share this video to your family and friends thank you so much from the campus we say bye bye, bye.